The important thing to note about copyright is uh, generally if you don't have permission to use something then you can't use it especially if it's going to go on public channels. So what I'd recommend is using Creative Commons. So Creative Commons is this great licensing system that allows you to use other people's content. So I will click on this link. This is again one of our resources um, that just gives you a bit of information about copyright. It also goes into Creative Commons, so it explains what Creative Commons is. Um, but basically, the gist of it is the the stuff, the green stuff at the top, is the most accessible. So public domain, you don't need to credit or attribute the author. You can just use it. The other one, which is one step down from that, is CC BY. BY just means attribution. So. If I scroll down underneath this um, chart, I've actually attributed the author. So underneath here is sort of like the, the attribution link. So you can see where I got the content from, who's the author and what license it is. So CCBY 4.0 is the license that I've used this for. You can visit our website just to get a bit of information about uh, Creative Commons and attribution. But the best thing about this website is that we have a, a whole set of resources available for sourcing images, music and video. So if you just want to uh, sort the music, just press it twice. And we have all of these links here that you can find music. Um, so we'll just click on the YouTube audio library. So you can sort of press play to sort of, you know, hear the music, see if you like it. You can even sort by mood, by genre, um, by instrument even. And what's really handy is duration. So if you have a really long clip, you might just want to sort everything above five minutes. And here it has information about attribution. So if you don't want to attribute the artist, say you don't want to add a title or whatever at the end you can just search by attribution not required and that will only show you content that you don't need to attribute um, I, alternatively if you want to sort by attribution required you can do that as well so that's the youtube audio library um, but there are plenty of other links that are in that uh, web page so please visit that um, you know when you have time because i'm sure that you know one of the things that you'll struggle with when you do start making your own podcasts is is finding music and finding you know sound effects that you want to sort of incorporate into the podcast and you might find that you know it it takes a lot of clips just to sort of make it even sound a bit more normal um, you can even sort ser search for really short clips if you wanted to do a bit of an intro. So if you want to have an intro audio piece that you, you can use every week that will be sort of your set opener for your podcast, you can search for that. So a good site for that would be a Free Music Archive or you could even look in the YouTube audio library and just search for really short clips. So that I think will be really handy. There's just information there about attribution, which is what I just mentioned.